Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and in this video, I am going to show you how to export OpenStreetMap data to shapefile using Spatial Manager Desktop application. So the first step here is to open your window browser and then on the search engine, you can type in OpenStreetMap. Here, um, you can click on the OpenStreetMap website and then you can type in the location that you want to get the data from. So I'm going to go to um, Melbourne and then I can click go here. And then here, this is the area um, that I want to get the data from. So to do that, click on export. And then here you can uh, manually select your area. So if you click that, it will um, show as a bounding box where you can resize um, the area that you want to generate. So um, you set your um, area and then after you are happy with the area that you uh, want to generate the data from, you can click on export and it will automatically download this um, data as OSM. So after you do that, you can open the folder and then you can move that to uh, another folder um, that you want. So here, after, uh, I, after I download the OSM data, I can again go back to this window browser and then I can type in Spatial Manager Desktop. So here, select this Spatial Manager Desktop and then in the website here, you can either select to buy the product or you can try the free trial. So you can um, select um, either of them and then it will automatically um, downloading the installer. This, um, this Spatial Manager Desktop is really useful for you um, to easily um, display your data into the map. So if you, so for example, if you use Arwin, you have to select the data sets um, for which you want. So for example, if you want to get the building data, you have to find the building data. Or if you want to get the road data, you want, you have to find the road data sets in Arwin. Whereas in OpenStreetMap, it, it already contains all of those features. So you can easily just um, select those and then you can visualize that on the in this application and it will um, show all the attributes onto your um, special manager desktop. But the downside is because OpenStreetMap is more like how the how people uh, put the attribute, there is some place here that doesn't have um, the the building. So for example, in this area, it doesn't have the building's um, data. So in that case, you might want to look for another um, source like Arwin to get the building data. So after you download the Spatial Manager desktop, you should be able to open the application like this and then go to the folder where you put the, um, the OpenStreetMap um, data and then after you um, find that you can click right and then you can select load in new document so here as you can see this is all the feature of the map that we from from the open strip map all in just one file so you can select which one of these features that you want to be shown on your um on your map so for me, um, I'm gonna choose, I'm just gonna choose um, building. Also, if your data is big, it's it may be gonna slow you down. So you might want to choose only the feature that is maybe useful for you. So for example, if I choose building or public transport, railways and waterways, and then I can click load. So it shows all the feature that I selected. And here, down here, you can 
see all the information from this um from your map so for example if i choose this so if i go here and then i select for example right radius and then i click like that it will select all the radius that i just selected and here it will highlight which of these is down here so it will show you all the information like for example um what type of geometry and what what type of buildings and etc and building levels and etc so it's really um a really useful information but as you can see here the projection is not quite right so we might want to fix that when we export that to shapefile and also if you want to use a background for this for example this background as your background map here you you have to um, first export the SHF file because the background maps are only available with projected coordinate reference system. So to do that, we can go back here and then we can click right again and then we can select export features. So here, um, we can select, you can again select which features you want to export as shape file. So for me, I'm just gonna select just the, just the building. And then after that, I can click next. And then here you can again um, choose the folder where, where you want to save your file. Um, and then here in the tab, you can select shape file. But it has a lot of um, other options that you want. If you, for example, want to open this building data in AutoCAD, you can instead choose DXF file for you to be able to um, open that in AutoCAD. So after you choose that, click next. And then here, um, for the geometry type, I'm gonna choose polygon. And then here, this is the projection, the coordinate reference system to um, match with the location that um, is your on your map. So every every location has their own coordinates. So in Australia, in Melbourne, it is the zone 50, 55 GDA 94. So for your location, you can look it up for what projection your location is, and then you can um, you can click on the CRS catalog to to look for the projection for your location. So for me, it's the Zoom 55 and then I click next and then I can run um, the, the data. So here, um, after, after I get, uh, after I save the file, I shape file, I can go here and then I can refresh refresh that and then here I can see my shape file is um, already done in here so I can again load load in new document and then it should um, show me a new document of the shape file that I just um, exported so as you can see now the projection is um, right from the top which is um, what um, I want for my map and then here I've, because now I have the right coordinate reference system I can go to start and then I can choose um, the background map um, of what I, I want to be shown here so for example if I choose that now I should be able to see the map with the building you can also open the shape file in other um, application like QGIS and also with the DXF file you should be able to also open this um, building uh, data in AutoCAD. So that's how you get um, map OpenStreetMap data and then use the Spatial Manager desktop to create a shape file or a DXF file and then also get all these um, information for from these um, particular data. So for example, if I choose that, it shows me that this is the Melbourne Central um, building. So